good morning to all of you today we will see the pigment system under pigment system we will see the photo system first photo system second light reactions dark reactions non cyclic photophosphorylation and their significance and cyclic photophosphorylation and their significance first of all we will see the pigment system the immersion experiment shown that there are two pigment systems involved in the process of photosynthesis these are the photosystem first and photosystem second or we can say that is the ps1 and ps second the ps1 first of all we will see this is also known as a pigment system first or photosystem first it consists of pigments absorbing a longer wavelength of light second one it is composed of chlorophyll b chlorophyll a 670 chlorophyll a 680 chlorophyll a 695 carotenoids and a single molecule of chlorophyll a that is the 700 or we can say that is the p 700 it is a located in a lipid layer of grana the photosystem first is active both in a red and far red lights it carries a reduction of frs efd and nadp plus the photosystem first is associated with a cyclic photophosphorylation after completion of photosystem first the photosystem second this is also known as pigment system second or photosystem second it consists of the pigments absorbing the shorter wavelengths of light it is a composed of chlorophyll b chlorophyll a 670 chlorophyll a 680 phycobilins xanthophylls and a single molecule of chlorophyll a that is the 690 that is P six hundred ninety. It is located in a protein layer of grana. The photosystem second is active only in a red light and inactive in a far red light. It carries out the evolution of molecule of molecular O two. That means the photo oxidation of water takes place. That is the photolysis of water occurs. It is associated with a non-cyclic photophosphorylation. Both photosystem first and photosystem second are important in photosynthesis any one of them lagging behind that is a decreasing the rate of photosynthesis it is a divided into a two steps light induced electron transport in a photosynthesis is of two type first that is the non cyclic photophosphorylation and second one that is the cyclic photophosphorylation it is divided into a two steps first that is the light reactions and second one that is the dark reactions first we will see the light reactions the light reactions of photosynthesis are known as photophosphorylation or electron transport chain the synthesis of energy rich phosphate that is the atp from adp and inorganic phosphate is known as phosphorylation the phosphorylation can occur in a met many metabolic reactions including a respiration the phosphorylation in the process of respiration it is called as oxidative phosphorylation as it takes place in the presence of o2 when atp molecules are synthesized in a chloroplast making a use of light energy the process is termed as a photosynthetic phosphorylation or photophosphorylation thus the synthesis of energy rich atp from adp in a chloroplast with the help of light reaction is known as a photophosphorylation the production of atp in a chloroplast was first demonstrated by arnon and his coworkers in 1954 the first we'll see that is the non cyclic photophosphorylation the steps in hall in a non cyclic photophosphorylation are as shown in a figure the first step that is the pigment molecules of photosystem second absorbs a light and becomes a photo excited 
the accessory pigments absorb the light and transfer their energy to a reaction center that is the P690 which takes part in a primary photochemical action. This chlorophyll A that is the 690 emits an electron which goes to reduce the quinone. The pigment system by losing an electron to quinone becomes oxidized. It is then reduced by electron coming from water. The water is photo oxidized to evolve oxygen. The hydrogen ions combines with unknown compound that is a Z to form a ZHH plus ions in the presence of some unknown enzymes. In a second step, they reduce the quinone then transfer it its electron to plus the quinone that is the PQ. Then in a step third that reduce the plus the quinone then passes its electron to cytochrome B6. Then the plus the quinone becomes oxidized and cytochrome B6 gets reduced. In a fourth step soon such a cytochrome B6 passes electron to cytochrome F reducing it. During this reaction the electron transfer a one molecule of ATP is synthesized from ADP and inorganic phosphate that means the ADP plus PI there is a formation of one ATP molecule. In a fifth step the reduced the cytochrome F transfers its electrons to plastocyanin that is the PC. The cytochrome F thus becomes oxidized and that plastocyanin becomes reduced. In a step 6, simultaneously the photosystem first is gets photo excited. The reaction center of that photosystem first is the P700 that is the chlorophyll A700. Ejects its electron which goes to reduce the ferridoxine reducing substance that is the FRS. Now oxidized that photosystem first takes up electron coming from photosystem second through plastocyanin and finally that ferridoxine reducing substance gets reduced. In a step 8, the electrons the pass to the NADP plus form FD. The FD is oxidized and NADP plus is reduced to NADPH2 by electrons coming from the ferridoxine and protons that is the 2 H plus ions coming directly from water through two ZH plus ions. The reaction is catalyzed by an enzyme pyridoxine NADP plus reductase. The electrons given by photosystem second thus are used finally to reduce NADP plus. So they never come back to photosystem second. Hence it is called as a non-cyclic photophosphorylation or electron transport chain. The significance of that non-cyclic photophosphorylation is it involves the both pigment system photosystem second and photosystem first. The second significance that is the photolysis of water occurs during the non-cyclic photophosphorylation at photosystem second. The third significance is the energy in the form of ATP and reducing power in the form of NADPH2 are synthesized during this process. Both ATP and NADPH2 are reduced during the dark reactions. In a pigment system, second, there is the cyclic photophosphorylation. <coughs> the steps involved in cyclic photophosphorylation are as follows. The first step, that is the absorption of light by this photosystem second, that is the P700, results in the excitation of this reaction center, which emits an electron these electrons are transferred to a FRS same as described in a non-cyclic photophosphorylation. Thus, the photosystem first gets oxidized and that FRS becomes reduced. In a second step, the reduced FRS transfer its electron to ferridoxine. The FRS becomes oxidized and FD that is the ferridoxine gets reduced. 
In a third step, if the NADP plus is available in a low concentration, EFD fails to pass electrons to NADP plus for its reduction. The electrons then gets filled back to cytochrome B6 from ferridoxine and hence that cytochrome B6 gets reduced. In a fourth step, later the electrons move to cytochrome F from cytochrome B6. During this electron transfer, a one molecule of ATP is synthesized from ADP and inorganic phosphate. That means there is a synthesis of ATP from ADP plus inorganic phosphate. In a fifth reaction, the reduced cytochrome F then transfer its electrons to plus to cyanine, reducing it. Finally, the electron returns back to photosystem first from plus to cyanine. Hence, the electrons originally emitted by a photosystem first returns back to photosystem first. So, it is called as cyclic photophosphorylation. The significance of that cyclic photophosphorylation is the first it involves only one pigment system that is the photosystem first. The second significance that is the photolysis of water does not occur during this process. And the last significance that is the third only the ATP molecules are generated during cyclic photophosphorylation. Thank you.